In this representation of the op amp, we see the inverting input Vn, the non-inverting input Vp, the output voltage V0, and the positive and negative voltages of the power supply that is energizing the op amp, like an electric toy, positive VCC and negative VCC. We know that the output voltage cannot exceed the positive value of the power supply and cannot be less than the negative value of the power supply. Mathematically, we write it this way. The output voltage is bound by the negative and the positive values of the power supply. If Vp is greater than Vn, this Vp and this Vn, in that case, the output voltage is going to be the positive of the power supply, and we say that the op-amp is positive saturated. If Vn is greater than Vp, in that case, the output voltage will be the negative of the power supply, and we say that the op-amp is negative saturated. If in a circuit we have the suspicion that the op-amp is positive saturated, by all means, assign this value the positive value of the power supply to the output node of the op-amp, solve the circuit using MNA, compute VP and VN, and check that this condition applies. If that condition does not apply, that means that we were wrong. The op-amp is not positive saturated. Well, maybe it's negative saturated. In that case, assign this voltage to the output node of the op-amp, solve the entire circuit, find again VP and VN, compare them, and check if this condition applies. If it is true, then the op-amp is negative saturated.